everyone, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Strip 2, English version. It's been a long time. I realized I haven't finished playing the first chapter of Strip 2 in English. So, I need to pick up where we left off after the Izayoi Hotel, and we need to continue on. This also is going to be a good bit of a reminder for me for when the Chapter 2 comes out, hopefully this month. So, let's get going. Oh, can't walk through the cracked floor. To thank you'd face us again. You forgot everything, discarded everything, you turned your back on us, acting all innocent so you could go lead a new life. I'm happy you're back, man. As your best friend, it felt lonely having you forget about me and leave me behind. I'm not sure how to feel about the fact that you're doing all this for her sake, for that Nina. Nina, the culprit behind all the madness afflicting us. And yet here you are, choosing to dig up your past in order to protect her. How ironic. So you want to know how you're supposed to go about finding those erased memories you wanted to wipe away? Huh, <laughs> what a stupid question. It's pointless telling you how to do something like that when you've thrown away your own past. We are figures from your past. The mere act of trying to recall everything has brought us here. But there is still much more to remember. Are you really, truly prepared for this? Will you be able to look at the things you've done without averting your eyes? Of course he will, right? We wouldn't be in his head again if he hadn't resolved himself to do that. I wonder if you'll be able to properly remember my face this time. I'm really looking forward to that. At this point, there's nothing for us to gain, and there's nothing for us to talk about. Not yet, anyway. Let us meet again when you're closer to the truth. You've only just begun your journey to move past the glass pane in front of you into our domain. Now, open your eyes. The truth can only be found in reality. Hurry up and end the fiction of your innocence. There's no happy end to this story of yours. Father? I still think it should be Daddy rather than Father. <laughs> Thank goodness you're awake. Are you okay, Daddy? Looks like you are writhing in pain. N Nina! That was a dream? Akiyama-san told me to come check on you because you hadn't come down for breakfast. I knocked, but there was no answer, so I came in. That's why I heard you groaning in pain. Uh, uh, I'm fine, Nina. I was just having a bad dream I couldn't wake up from. I'm okay now, though. Sorry for making you worry. Head to the dining hall right away. Really? Well, okay then. Oh yeah! Akiyama-sen said he had something to talk to you about after breakfast. He said it was important. Helping out the townsfolk is important and all, but don't push yourself too hard, okay? There's no point if you end up wrecking your body. Nina. 
uh, the culprit behind all the madness afflicting us. And yet here you are, choosing to dig up your past in order to protect her. How ironic. <coughs> Chapter 1, Pursuit. Alright, I'll save complete. Alright, let's go ahead and save. Can't even really remember where we're at. <laughs> Ain't that just it? Let's play on file nine. <laughs> Go talk to Akiyama. All right. You came. You got uh, quite late this morning. Is everything all right? You can talk about another day if you're not feeling up to heading out. No, I'm fine. I just had a bit of a bad night's sleep is all. But putting that aside, I was told you had something important to discuss with me. Ever since that incident with Nina's high fever, I've been using church resources to investigate your connection with her. But I couldn't find anything about the year in which the demon incident occurred. Not even the general state of affairs, let alone any details. Eight years ago, you stumbled here into this church with Nina. The world was still in turmoil around that time. As to be expected, though, the church had formed at that time. And I've heard the town was in chaos back then as well. Demon-related incidents were exploding in number all over the world. The local police forces had little to no means to deal with them. Shifting through data from that time, I came across something very interesting. It was a police file covering an unsolved case from back then. There have been a number of robberies committed by a group lay at night. The majority of the group were delinquent teens, but their leader was supposedly a demon. It's likely that demon had tricked the teens and induced them into criminal activity, but the culprit was never found. Group robberies? That sounds quite violent. Just how bad was it? Well, that's a strange thing. None of their victims were ever hurt which is what apparently made the investigation so difficult. But the teens eventually moved on from that sort of thing, and the group uh, gradually shrank in number. The last crime attributed to the group involved the demon acting alone. <clears throat> and since the scale of the crime was so small, the world at large ended up forgetting all about the incidents. Even the church doesn't seem to consider the case overtly important. So far, this just sounds like a small-scale incident to be dealt with by a local church administrator. Something we'd look at if requested. But after reading the testimony of a former group member in custody, this sounded more and more like something I should talk to you about. They said the demon was utterly obsessed with tracking down a man with an emblem on the back of his left hand. The robberies were merely a means to that end. A an emblem on his left hand? That must be... We can't be certain it was you, but given that those emblems appear on both you and Nina around the same time... If those have both been on your YouTube since you came to us, there's a strong possibility that the demon was searching for you. And if the cause of those emblems disappearing was erasing the memories of your past, then it is quite likely that you've had them long before stumbling in here. 
So what you're saying is, though you don't know what the connection might be, this will at least provide some sort of clue to our past? Using Kana San's information network, we managed to get a hold of the police detective in charge of that case. They'll be in the shopping center during the day. I've gone ahead and notified HQ that you'll be the one handling this case. The rest is up to you. Well, feel like looking into it? Understood. They'll be in the shopping center during the day, right? Thank you, Akiyama-san. All right. All right. I had to do a couple things to get back to where I needed to be, but we are back at the Iza Yoi Hotel. We got some more talking to do. So, let's start with Yami. <laughs> okay, that makes me happy. Let's chat. Mm -hmm. Chat, what shall we talk about? The reason she came. I'm sorry, I was just so curious about you that I ended up coming here. In truth, I'm not a part of this world. I can't be here in a mental barrier space like this sees a Yoi Hotel to meddle in your life. To be precise, I'm not here using Richard's mind in the world he lives in. I'm actually using my connection with you to be here now. <laughs> I guess you don't really understand what I'm talking about, huh? All you need to know is that I'm going to be hanging around here for quite a while, so come visit me anytime you want. I can't enter. I can't direct interfere with this world, so we can't exchange gifts or anything. What we can do is fool around, so don't hesitate to see me if that's what you're after. I'll do all sorts of things for you that I couldn't do in the tutorial, Richard Kim. Chat. A gift. Richard Gunn, thanks for playing with me so much. You play with me even though I can't give you anything in return like the demon in your emblem. That makes me really happy. I want to be useful to you as well. I wish there was something I could give you that make your life in that world a little easier. But I can't do that, which is why I had her help me out. Speak to Cheshire, uh, no, that Jabberwock girl in Easy Yoi Hotel. I'm sure she can do something for you. I've already filled her in, so go see her when you got some time, okay? Alright, let's go talk to Jabberwock. Need something? Chat. Something for you? Ah, you mean that thing from Yami-chan. I don't normally do this kind of thing, but she and I go way back, so I'm making an exception just this once for her. Besides, as far as interference and indices go, this isn't much. This fixed path can tolerate minor deviations here or there. You don't need to worry your head about all that. Here, take it. This has her power in it, but unless you let her train you, it'll only do a weak, almighty type attack. Whether or not you actually use it is entirely up to you, including where you decide to make the best use of it. Alright, so we got that. Now, I think we have a quest from Kageyama. Ah, there it is, okay! Her bonding quest. The amulet's owner. Talk about that amulet. Oh, I see. Thanks for going out of your way for me, Kana-san. Alright, bye now. Something happened? What are you two talking about? It was about that amulet. I just got Kana-san to use her connections to investigate the whereabouts of its owner. 
All visitors to the disco have to write their names down, remember? So we should be able to pinpoint who it is fairly quickly. Though, having said that, there's some kind of problem. Though, having said that, we don't know where they are exactly. They don't interact much with people around them. And they've been uh, living here by themselves for a few years now. We've hit the limit on how much info we can get from personal connections. So I asked Kaasan to contact the police. Looks like this is going to take a little longer to sort out. No need for that. I can quickly track them. Once I am uh, involved with a human, we'll remember everything about them. They're currently in shopping center, but they only go out walking at night. So have to be there then if you want to meet them. Whoa, that's amazing! You could pick all that info that quickly? Like I said, I like to beep. Though I materialize in haunting you, my human observation's still getting strong. Getting interesting information while it's still fresh is creed of my life. <laughs> of destination. Bonding. Client Kageona. Difficulty 3 star. Reward Shadow Stitching. Accept. Love's destination. Talk to the ten looking man in the shopping center at night. To the shopping center. Who, who are you? Do you need something from me? Richard shows a obsidian amulet to the timid looking man. The that's Definitely the amulet I lost at the disco. But I don't need it anymore. I don't have anyone to give it to now. What do you mean by that? I mean they died. It happened shortly after we had our fight at the disco. So I would have much rather never seen that amulet ever again. But it seems fate isn't going to be so kind to me. Look at that, that amulet reminds me of her. Actually, I have an idea. Why don't you take that amulet to where she is now? Her remains were interred in the first crypts of the public cemetery. I'd like to see if she and the amulet could be reunited there. I know I should probably go and do it myself, but it's all still fresh in my mind, and my mind's a mess. Alright, off we go. Same. Oh, let's buy some things from Hyaki. Makes the ropes nice. This has to be it. It matches the name Kaisen told me. But it's weird. I thought this was the first name I looked into for who owned this amulet. Maybe information got jumbled because she entered at the same time as Hill. It seems like they were a couple after all. Also, you all done leaving amulet here with remains? It was what man wanted you to do. Yeah? All that's left is to pray for her rest in peace. That's the least I can do for her as a priest. It's not quite that simple, Richard. 
You nice guy. Being able to pray for strangers is really a good thing. The person in question seems to be rejecting it. They look quite angry. Huh? The person in question? <sighs> yep, the vengeful spirit. Alright. Not bad. Still not gonna be doing anything to me. Blessing prayer. Tack up, huh? Not bad. Goodbye. Alright, up to level 35. That's good. She disappeared. Looks like you calmed her down. Well, was that the ghost of the woman buried here? Why did she turn into a vengeful spirit? Maybe she reacted to the amulet because it reminded her of her past life that made her mad. It seems like she has big unfinished business. I can't tell whether it's still love for that man or whether she's harboring some kind of grudge. Either way, her spirit calm. Now spirit tree can uh, quiet her soul and she can go to heaven. You done all you can for the dead as holy man. Good job, Richard. Really? Making a spirit be that just went on rampage doesn't sit well with me. My advice, don't get too involved in this. Especially when it's uh, about what happens between men and women. You good guy, but there are things you not need to know. There's no need to burn yourself with all the details. Yeah, aside, there's still something you need to do. You need to be put at ease by telling him request is done and you prayed for her. Uh, uh, I got it. I suppose there's not much for me to do now that I've purified her wandering spirit. Let's keep the whole wandering spirit apparition thing between us. We'll only make him worry needlessly if we tell him. Yeah, you right. Even if just empty consolation. Let's say he, she now in heaven or something. She's up to no good. Or good, depending on how you look at it. shopping center. I see. So you were able to properly take it to her. Thank you. I would have actually preferred to give that, her that amulet while she was still alive. She passed away without even a chance to talk things out together. I think she found my feelings for her annoying in a way. But I wanted to keep communicating how I really felt. Thank you for doing this, Father. I think she'll be able to rest in peace now. No, she won't. Now then, if you'll please excuse me. I think that sells things for now. I got flustered when I saw a revengeful spirit, but look at him now. I think he's going to be okay. No, he is not. I'm sure his earnest feelings for her will reach her. Yeah, I guess you're right. W what? Why are you being so cagey all of a sudden? Weren't you the one who said this should be fine now? 
Back then you told me there was nothing more I could do as a priest. What are you so unhappy about? Not unhappy or anything. You good guy. You made something a stranger wanted happen. Amulet also gone, so my request done too. Not mean to make you go out of your way like that. As thanks, have this. That will make us even. Magic clothes given by Kageyona. What's this? It's like some kind of pitch black robe. I can't tell whether it's inside out or not. The clothing I made with my magic. It make magic you shoot stronger and they can fit augments. Now that you have this, even without demon, it will be always together. <laughs> Richard, good guy, but I, not good demon. He really not noticed I've been tricking him from the beginning. But he not need to know. He good guy, so I don't think good thoughts. That is natural right. But I say again. I not good demon. <laughs> Did it all go well? Of course. Even the cops think it was a suicide. I was scared shitless when that priest from the church suddenly came up to talk to me about that amulet. I thought for sure I'd been found out. Didn't I tell you that everything would work out fine if you did what I told you? Now you can finally say goodbye to that confused woman following you around. All that's left for is for us to hop on a plane tomorrow and leave this tedious town. There shouldn't be anyone left to hold you back here, right? Then I can stop this fleeing and finally be together as a proper couple. I'm sure you're just as relieved as I am about that. It's not like I was uh, fully on board with the idea of killing her. But I do feel a load off now. That's all thanks to you. I don't know what she was thinking, choosing that lame amulet as a makeup present. I wonder where she got it from. Hey, hey, what's that hanging around your neck? Huh? How? I thought that priest had left it in the cemetery. To hell with both of you. Remember how I said Kage Ona not to interfere with humans? That was lie. And also, I might actually have changed back in disco. So if anyone going to be exercising me, it's going to be you. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> Alright, play quest. 